This is Allison McKenzie, and uh, she's going to talk to us about what she wants the world to know about war. For me, as a soldier, obviously that answer would be very different if I was a civilian. As a soldier, I train for war. This is what we do. Um, people don't like to hear it. But that's the bottom line. When I put on this uniform, I am training for that day when I need to go off to war to protect civilians, property, you know, a, 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 a political, um, whatever it is that the, the commander in chief um, of the United States of America deemed to be the mission um, of that particular war. Um, then that's why we're suited up. So we just need to know uh, what to do in order to achieve for that end. And, and you know, there are many steps in between. Um, war is long time off. We don't just put it on and run to war. There's a whole lot of preparation that goes on in between me standing here in the United States and me, you know, ending up boots on ground in Iraq. Um, so with that preparation, you have soldiers who are privates, we have lieutenant colonels. There's a gamut of ranks, there's a gamut of job duties. They all have to come together in order for that war to be successful. And yes, we have seen wars that have lasted two months. We have seen wars that have lasted 12 years and, and keep on going. But again, that soldier is prepared to keep on going, to keep on wearing the uniform, to keep on doing their duties. Um, so, you know, I wear my uniform proudly. I've been wearing it for 27 years now. And I've been in the military for 20 years before I was called to war. I had been preparing for my moment in 2005, in 2006, for 20 years. And I wouldn't let myself down, my family down, the United States of America down, okay, because they've invested in me. So I chose to do this, okay, I wasn't drafted. I signed on the dot dotted line. So, you know, again, when we ask the question, what do you want the world to know about war? Just note that soldiers prepare on a daily basis for this war such that we can come to uh, that, that, that either that one goal, that one objective, that one mission, and be successful in it. In the eyes of the civilian, it may look a little different, and that's fine. Um, you know, people view things and have opinions based on their own knowledge and their own experiences. Um, but once you go through uh, basic training and you have schooling and, and you're in the military, it, it's sort of ingrained in you. And, and that's kind of what we do on a daily basis, both reserve and the regular army.